Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Uh, we did an earlier video of this single slot payphone and it is a touch tone single slot payphone and this is uh, Robert's telephone from Nevada and so basically we did an initial check out of this telephone stating that Robert wanted a, uh, a real long handset uh, security cable cord and we have uh, gotten that we ordered that and this is a 52 inch cable security cable and the real issue with this telephone was uh, Robert had a, an initial note and it said that uh, this telephone worked for quite a while when he received it but then it stopped working and all it would do is ring and so we're kinda this video is about the middle of the process of what goes on when we're repairing them and so it doesn't look real pretty at this point because everything is uh, all apart and we're going to explain here basically what we have to do and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set the video down if you look right here what you're gonna see is a uh, tone generator and somewhat of a network okay and that's our board and this board has to be incorporated into the design of the telephone uh, this board I'm going to show you here this board that's in the telephone originally uh, has programmable IC chips and if you notice it it has quite a few of them and the reason why Robert lost his dial tone and his capability to dial out and everything uh, and all it would do is ring is just for the simple fact that after a while these boards will lose their programming and so they may work for you for a little while and then down the road when they lose their programming they're done uh, there's no sense in trying to uh, finagle these boards to uh, work again for Robert uh, we need to get him away from that situation so that he does not have this problem in the future and any work that I do here at this shop um, you know anything could happen but uh, you're going to have a less likely chance of a regular board that's not some programmable issue uh, giving you any trouble and it should just work fine for him but when you try to make the original boards in these work it'll just go out on him again later on down the road and I don't want that to happen I want it to last as long as it can for him so there's a lot of issues to this if you notice this is his original keypad and we want to keep that it's a, a nice chrome keypad but if you look at it that's all it is it's just a keypad there's no tone generator situation associated with this keypad so basically um, that's all in the board that came with it originally that we have to break away from and so that's where we get into this board that we have to install so basically what we have to do is utilize this board and design it into the situation because this is his original keypad board and so what we're going to do since all the housing that goes into this unit here where the hook switch is and where the uh, handset cable comes in we're going to have to take this board that's his original board and wire it to our board and then that will become our uh, tone generator and our network in a sense so that kind of gives you an idea of just how technical some of these conversions get uh, there's a lot to them and, and it takes a little bit to get everything straightened out and then what we'll do is install his uh, 52 inch handset security cable and uh, handset so it's we're kind of in the middle of the road here and gives you some kind of an ideal just you know how much there is to to do these conversions so and we want to save this part of uh, his board
forward because in the frame because his bell is mounted to that so uh, you know whether this board will stay in uh, we may have to leave it in and then disconnect a lot of our connections here but yet still utilize our block so in other words we would uh, cut the traces that go to that board and in reality the board wouldn't have anything to do with our wiring block and our bell circuit so we may use the utilize the bell circuit for the bell and the wiring block but the rest of it would be cut away and we also have to make a connection between our board here and uh, up on the uh, keypad so there's quite a bit to it and uh, this is kind of the middle of the road uh, part of the video to just kind of show you what it all entails so uh, we're going to take a short break from the video and uh, try to get some of this mess cleaned up and uh, go through it and, and get some things straightened out so we'll try to get a little more video in as we move along with this conversion and uh, getting uh, Robert straightened out on this uh, really cool single slot payphone and uh, he's got a nice payphone here and we're just gonna we're gonna be working towards getting it straightened out for him so we'll take a short break and we'll be right back okay we're finished up with the repair and redesign of this telephone and on the base unit here where the programmable boards were located they have been removed and we have a much cleaner situation now what we have is the original modular port that's uh, been mounted now and then his block and then we have another modular port that we mounted and that's to plug the body in so Robert can simply bring in his line cord and go ahead and plug into that modular port and then over on the body our connection point will be this modular plug which will plug into the other side on the wiring block and uh, it makes for a very simple connection and it's much cleaner now what happened here on the back of the keypad is we mounted our PC board which is also our tone generator that's been wired to the keypad now and so does our uh, line that comes in from our handset goes to this main board and so everything has uh, been straightened out and redesigned and it's all finished up so now what we can do is uh, I'll go ahead and ring the telephone Give that one more ring and we'll go ahead and answer it. Give you some dial tone. Now we also ordered Robert, uh, he wanted a long handset cord, security cable, and handset. So we replaced the old one with a 52 inch, and uh, so that's been taken care of now. And so what we can do is we're going to go ahead and ring the telephone one more time. Give you some dial tone. And we're going to go ahead and dial our numbers if you watch the analyzer. We're going to end in a 2, and then what I want to do is I want to transmit into the handset. And uh, if you watch the analyzer here, the red light here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, hello, hello. So that's an indication of 100% modulation every time you see that red light. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And so Robert's got a really nice single slot pay phone here and uh, what we're going to do is move the telephone over to a regular line now and we're going to make some calls we'll 
we'll call like say a time and temp here. Give you some dial tone. Good morning. When you need body work, we're a short drive away. Offenberg Body Center 2340330. Today is Saturday, June 2nd. The time is 12:14. Current temperature 60 degrees. Now the Belleville area weather forecast. Partly cloudy tonight, lows in the low 50s. Saturday, mostly cloudy in the morning. Partly sunny in the afternoon. 20% chance of a shower. A high in the mid-70s. Okay. So we can also call one other number. We'll call my number. Give you some dial tone. And it'll be busy. We'll call one other number. Do some dial tone. But we don't need anything from there. Thank you for calling Walmart. Okay, we had to take a short break there. But now that we're finished up with the repair, we can get this telephone back to Robert and he can start enjoying it once again. Now we're going to do a final check uh, on this telephone. And I'm going to go ahead and ring it one more time. We'll let that go a couple times. We'll give you some dial tone. We're going to walk through our numbers one more time. I'm going to end in a 2, and I want to go ahead and transmit into the handset. And like earlier, if you see that red light on the analyzer, that's 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. So we know that everything is in working condition, and Robert did not send in his vault door. There was no need to, and it's just extra added weight. And this is just a really nice example of a single slot payphone, and he's got some really nice informational cards in the telephone, so it's in very good condition. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. This is Robert's single slot payphone from Nevada. Thank you for watching and have a great day.